In this video, we're going to talk about measures of position for group data. So the formula is given by this, where k is equal to i over 4 for quartiles, i over 10 for deciles, i over 100 for percentiles. i is the i quartile, decile, or percentile. Recall that the i for quartile is from 1 to 3, the i for decile is from 1 to 9, the i for percentile is from 1 to 99. L is the lower boundary for the quartile, decile, or percentile class. N is the total number of observations. W is the class width. CF is the cumulative frequency of the preceding class. F is the frequency of the quartile, decile, or percentile class. So let's have this example number one. So eight randomly selected light bulbs were tested to determine their lifetimes in hours. So the following frequency distribution was obtained. So find quartile 3, decile 4, and percentile 70. So the formula for finding the quartile 3 is this. Now in the formula, we need the class boundaries and the cumulative frequency. So to find the class boundaries, again, we're just going to subtract 0.5 on the lower class limit, and we're going to add 0.5 on the upper class limit, so that is 52.5 to 63.5, 63.5 to 74.5, 74.5 to 85.5, 85.5 to 96.5, 96.5 to 107.5, and 107.5 to 118.5. Now, we also need the cumulative frequency. So again, to find the cumulative frequency, we're going to start from the frequency of the lowest data entry, which is 6. So we're going to start from 6. So 6 plus 12 is 18, plus 25 is 43, plus 18 is 61, plus 14 is 75, plus 5 is 80. Now next is we're going to find the K and the KN. So the K is equal to I over 4. So since this is quartile, so that is I over 4. And we're looking for the quartile 3, our I is 3. So K is equal to 3 over 4. Now to find the KN, we're going to multiply the K by the total number of frequency, which is 80. So that is now 3 over 4 times 80 is equal to 60. Next is we need to find the class that contains the 60th observation. So to find the class that contains a 60th observation, that is the smallest cumulative frequency greater than or equal to Kn. So we're going to look at the column of the CF, the smallest cumulative frequency greater than or equal to 60. So in this case, the class that contains a 68th observation is 61. So therefore, this is the class that contains the 68th observation. Now, let us substitute the given to the formula. So our lower class boundary is 85.5 plus the Kn is 60 minus the CF, which is the cumulative frequency before this class, which is 43, over the frequency of this class, which is 18, times the class width, which is 11. So how do we get 11? So we're just going to subtract either the lower class limit or the upper class limit of the two consecutive classes. So that is 64 minus 53, or 74 minus 63 is equal to 11. So the class width is equal to 11. So computing this, the quartile 3 is equal to 95.89. Next, let's find the decile 4. So this is the formula for the decile 4. Okay, so let us now find the K and the KN. So the K for the decile 4 is I over 10. That is now the I is 4, so 4 over 10. Now multiply this I over, multiply this 4 over 10 by the total number of frequency, which is 80. So 4 over 10 times 80 is equal to 32. Next is to find the class that contains the 32nd observation. So again, that is the smallest cumulative frequency greater than or equal to 32. So in this case, that is 43. So this is now the class that contains the 32nd observation. Now let us substitute the given to the formula. So our lower class boundary in this case is 74.5 plus the Kn, which is 32, minus the cumulative frequency before, the mid, before this class is 18 over the frequency of this class is 25 times 11. So again, 11 is the class width. We're just going to subtract the lower 
class limit or the upper class limit of the two consecutive classes. So let's say that is 64 minus 53 is 11 or that is 74 minus 63 is 11. So the class width is 11. So computing this, D4 or decimal 4 is equal to 80.66. Now let's find the percentile 70. So this is the formula for finding the percentile 70. So let us find the K and the KN. So in this case, the K is I over 100. So the I is 70. So that is 70 over 100. So 70 over 100 or 7 over 10 times the total number of frequency, which is 80, is equal to 56. Now let us find the class that contains the 56th observation. So again, that is the smallest cumulative frequency greater than or equal to KN. So in this case, that is 6 to 1. So this is the class that contains the 56th observation. So let us substitute the given to the formula. So our L this time is 85.5, that is the lower class boundaries, plus the KN, which is 56, minus the cumulative frequency before this class is 43, over the frequency of this class, which is 18 times the class width. So computing this, that is 93.44. So the percentile 70 is equal to 93.44. Thank you.